Tuesday morning. Uh, come on, Tariq, stop. Boy, we want to talk. Uh, it's a Tuesday morning, and uh, I was just. Oh, a little, uh, they call it coconut water, grape coconut water. It made from reconstituted grape juice, uh, and co it says coconut water on the thing. You know what reconstituted grape juice means? It just means it's like, you know, water and grape, they freeze it, then they reconstitute it, so it's basically water, a little bit of grape, a little bit of coconut juice, water rather, and uh, but I like it. Anyway, so, so this rebroadcast, rebroadcast the podcast, but I see downloads. I said, I was listening to it live, then she had some problems with the break, and I went back to sleep, because I'm still in my pajamas, went back to sleep, uh, and then I got up and, uh, and started to listen to it again, got the second half of Callers, which I really like. I always like the callers. I have the young caller, I have, a, so I have some advice. I'm going to get some advice for the young caller, uh, the young people. Just, have to get just advice for everybody. Um, and then, uh, then I just now got the first part now, like that. So, I listen to Yvette. You know, I listen to. Of course, I wrote a comment uh, for marching orders. I listen to Yvette twice a week. I listen to uh, and, and tone. I don't actually listen to a tone. What happens with with tone? If I see it, I'll grab it. You know. Maybe, maybe not, you know. Anyway, I guess, so I get my marching orders from those two. Plus, I use Miss Neely Fuller Jr. for my, my once a week brush, Miss Neely Fuller Jr. Just for my discipline, for a code. That's my, my code. Well, talk about this sometimes later. Let me get to what I was saying. Here's what I was thinking. I was thinking about, like you always, I, I often tell you about my dates at the, not dates, but at that I was, um, in the intermediate class of the Negro Ensemble Company when it first started, you know, I was 60, 67. 1967, uh, about that time. Anyway, I was just thinking, the first production, I, I said this to before, the first production they ever did is they called The Song of the Lusitanian Bogey. And it's uh, written by a Portuguese, well, I think it was a Mozambican guy or Port Portuguese, it's a Portuguese play. It was an amazing, to this day, it was the best ever production they ever did. It was one of the best productions ever done you know, on, on the off-Broadway stage in New York, or, or any stage in New York City. The Song of the Lusitanian Bogey. Bogey. Moses Gunn, uh, Sterling, everybody, the whole, you know, uh, the whole, uh, what do you call that, a core ensemble cast um, that they got together for a Negro Ensemble. It was, you know, Rosalind, Rosalind Cash, you know, just everybody, uh, uh, David Downing, uh, oh man, how many people, I can name, um, how can I name, um, so, so I was talking about Graham the other day, um, uh, 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 Arthur French, of course. Oh, the great Arthur French. I love Arthur. Arthur's been set up for several audio dramas I did. Anyway, let me get going. So that was the best thing. It's about revolution, let's put it that way. Or a, a, a history, you know, Portuguese you know, enslavement, uh, Portuguese, what they did, what the Portuguese did to Mozambique and stuff like that. I think it was Mozambique. Um, and then uh, uh, our class, uh, the, the, we, we did a production in that same time span. Uh, uh, called The Last Dragon, which I played. The dragon was a metaphorical kind of thing where they take this dragon out of his land, enslave this dragon, okay, so think of those black, black people. Then the beginning class that they had just started, this was 68, I guess now, the beginning class they just started, they did a production of again, this history of slavery. It was the most powerful, it was a great, great, great production. It was amazing. Ours was all right, but theirs was great. You saw a Lusitanian movie, it's like a classic. I don't know why, I, I talked to Doug one time. And I asked them about so it's also God is a guess what it's another play. If I could do a, a, a play, I would do God is a guess what. I mean, if I was to direct a play, I'd do God is a guess what. But then, you know, let me get back to this. And I think Doug has said that he tried to find an author with it. Somehow they couldn't run these these people down. And also a little fun fact to you. Uh, the, no, 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 I'll leave that fact out some other time. Okay, back to the people. So here's one thing with young people, put everybody. What you do is like, okay, say for instance, say if art world. Artists, you find artists. I'm talking painters, you know, whatever you like, a person like acrylic and whatever. Anyway, or you painters, you know, whatever you even even uh, drawers, right? I have a I have a uh, a uh, 
an idea for you, a DOS idea. I see how, I hope you can see this. You see how you have these little, like, uh, squares on this towel? So you have little squares? Okay. Now, let's take this side here. Take the back side. If you had a towel that had a silhouette, like, like this is a silhouette, this is the Hong silhouette, but the silhouette of the American flag, silhouette of the American, American flag, you know, but then on these, on these little, it would have these pucks here. Well, on, and it was when I say silhouette, like a what do you call that? It's not. It's a, yeah, I guess you call it silhouette, but the, um, that marking, that that watermark, the watermark, like watermark, so you can faintly see it. Then what you would have in each one of these squares, like you have a little crack, and out of this crack, you know, you see something like a a, a slave ship bow coming through. Or we, the crack would keep on going. The crack would get bigger, bigger, bigger. The next one would be bigger cracks, and then, then finally you have this people enslaved. Then, then, then you have this whole history of of, uh, of uh, ADOS travel. Then you get down here, this just this bigger. Then you have a, a, another hole where we where we re renamed ourselves with ADOS. We renamed ourselves as the American Descendants of Chattel Slavery. That's our official name. You know, yeah, we everybody's black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But just like all the other people, you know, the, the whatever the the, the, the Brazilians, the the, uh, the black Americans, rather the Mexicans that are black, the the, the Venezuelans that are black, the, everybody that is black, you know, the Grenadians, you know, like that. Well, now we're the ADOSs. <laughs> And so as it gets bigger here, then we have this thing where we have, we have a porthole, you know, with a, the new emerging ADOS back. But also in this port, in this porthole, the, as we get bigger and bigger and bigger, then we finally come to this, this new, uh, like, the, the male-female thing, because we're male-female together. One of the things I really love about this movement is that we all know, we all know the say We get our marching orders from what? Miss Yvette, that would be Yvette Cornell, and Attorney Moore, that would be Antonio uh, Moore. So, that's always a, that male-female energy is there, right? That, that, I want to go deep, deep in this, because if you want to do the light skin, dark skin thing, you can. I don't want to get the full spectrum, but I'm not going that route. Okay? I didn't say that. Zip. Okay. Uh, that's one of the things, you know? And that's super important, because they're trying to take the, they, they always try to separate us. And so if we can come together like that, that's wonderful. So that, that's for the art thing. Say, say for the, for the, for, for the young, uh, for, for um, poets, every, we, a poet should have a, a, a what, what, what's called a, a, an epic, an epic poem about an ADOS journey, how to come to this part of being an ADOS. Plus you can have these little poems, you know, uh, uh, in fact, there should be some great, great poets should get together and, and they each should have an ADOS future person and they should write a, uh, the book of, the book of, rep, of, of reparations, you know, poetry style from what I was, right? Uh, Wild and Out need to have a whole, se you know, yeah, yeah, Nick Cannon be down for this. Wild and Out should have a whole section, a ADOS, a whole a ADOS week, I don't know, ADOS month, I don't know what, you know, I don't know, say with Forfeit, I don't know. Just ADOS something, the whole show on ADOS. Yeah, I know. And you say, well, maybe you just need, well, they got to do it in a way they don't dis ADOS, raise profile. Okay. Let me that one on. Again, musicians, same thing. Where's, where's the ADOS suite from, 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 from the classical music? Where's the ADOS suite from the jazz musician? You know what I mean? Where's the, this should be ADOS from, from now until the election time, from, from, now, from now on. If, you, if you're an artist, as you do your other shaking this and, and, and doing that, you need to also have an ADOS slither. And that slither, like the thing I'm saying, will get bigger and bigger and bigger as we get more and more and more. But you have to start now. I'm talking about the athletes too. You know, when you do your celebration, what, what, what celebration? What celebration? Well, that's my ADOS celebration, the reparation celebration. You know, I don't know. Figure it out. You know what I mean? They're just, what, what inspired you to get that shot? Hey, dude, West is by me. Get that shot. But you hit that home run. What the, you see what I'm saying? You know, you get what I'm saying. Every spear. Figure out how you can have an ADOS slither that 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 that, that you can start and, and and take your marching orders from 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 Miss Yvette and Attorney Moore and, and get get that slither. So so as as you that slither gets bigger and bigger and bigger according to the information and the data and the stuff that you also remember you have to do your own research bring to the bring to the matter. Okay. All right. So we all know all the scatter little things. Don't worry, to my audio drama. Don't worry, it's going, it's coming, it's going to be, it's going to be very interesting. What's happening? You know, this is not just one audio drama. It's going to be like, yeah. okay, no, I won't say it right now because I better not. Anyway, uh, that's all I have to say. I being uh, me, T from the Pattersons taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect about ADOS. I'm suspecting from ADOS from a, a desk of the ADOS. That would be the American descendants of chattel slavery. In the house.